Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. So something you may notice that's different from usual, we don't have a partner introducing us today. Now, it's, that doesn't mean that we don't have introductions, because we have a lot. We have. You guys have done a wonderful <laughs> yeah. job of populating our right. Google Doc with those. I think we're sitting at somewhere around 50 at this point. Yeah. Um, and the reason that we haven't included that today is because we would like to get into the network news and right. then um, and then go forward. You'll have to forgive us for that. Right. As far as network news, uh, there are a couple of things that are kind of network related, but <laughs> kind of, kind of not. <laughs> kind of, kind of not. The very first one that I'd like to discuss with you is the Hitbox partnership that we have with Hitbox. Um, it is about to get even better because Hitbox just went live on the 15th with um, 60 frames per second, 4K streaming. So if you have like a really, really good computer and a really, really good internet connection, there you go. Streaming in 4K. 4K at 60 frames what, per second. What kind of video card would you need to actually stream, like record and live stream? One of those NVIDIA Titan X... X, 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 like 15 X, X. of those? Jesus. Yeah. That's insane. Just put them all in tandem. <laughs> wow. That's available to all Hitbox partners through Freedom as well as all people on Hitbox in general. Yeah. Right. And then I want to talk to you guys about the new game that we just added to the dashboard called Crystals of Time. Why well, you guys should go check it out along with a Steam Summer Cell and a game that we talked to you guys about a few days ago known as Clicker Heroes. Now, I myself played it for about five minutes, but if I'm being honest here, Anthony... I don't know if he wants to talk so, about it. So, okay. So, I'll let him explain here, here, Here's the thing about Clicker Heroes. <laughs> we, we did this little news story about right, this a couple of days ago. And I, I'm like, okay, let me do some research, right? I started playing the game. And I, I, I was like, okay, I'll play this for like five minutes. Maybe ten. And then I looked up and it was 6 a.m. So, yeah. Are you close to beating the game? Like, what level are you? There is no end. Like, there's just infinite levels? There is no end. Wow. It's like Cookie Clicker, yeah. which I, I got massively into when I was running my gaming channel. Did you see? <laughs> I did. I got massively into that to the point where it almost took over my Minecraft channel. Yeah. I, I did really well in Search. Oh, you actually make Cookie Clicker videos? Oh, yeah. I made, like, uh, 20 videos, yeah. and, and then I stopped after that because each video was, like, an hour long, right? Yeah. And um, I and ended you, up... Have you just tapping your phone? Well, no, it was it was on the computer, so okay. I you know I had the green screen, the whole nine yards, and it was just me sitting there talking, playing Cookie Clicker. Yeah. Um, and as most people in the Freedom Family know, I can talk. If there's one thing I can do, it's talk. Uh, so I, I recorded like you know uh, quite a few like hour long videos. Right. And they're still getting hits to this day. In fact, I made twelve dollars and some odd cents just, just last month <laughs> off just of those videos. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, which I can tell that because I have everything um, set in analytics so that I can look at everything series by series. If you haven't done that, uh, I suggest you do it because going forward, it allows you to see a lot of really important stuff. See, to be honest with you, I didn't know that you could do that. So. Yeah, like for instance, um, I am keeping track of all of the analytics from the rehash show. Um, because it uh, helps us show to our bosses that the show is effectively doing what it, we set out to. Yeah. Which, thanks to you, the Freedom Family, it is. You're doing extremely well. Um, it's doing very well. Um, of course, you know, we did get our hopes really high when we had a, a video get like 5,000 views in one oh, yeah, day. I think it's almost 6,000. Yeah. That's getting close. So, uh, but, you know, it's not doing quite that well, but it's still doing very, very well, and that's all thanks to you. Uh, so if you want to help keep it that way, just hit that share button. You know, go down there in the comments, and then make sure you click the button that says share on Google Plus. Right. Yeah. So back to review sponsorships. Uh, you know, this is something that we've been working on for a very long oh, time. Yes. I mean, you originally came up with the concept, and then from there, I just tried to you know take. You ran with it, dude. Right. Like that's on you. Right. Props. So you know, we've been adding a lot of games, and recently we added a game called Crystals of Time. Now, if you guys want to go check it out, click the review sponsorships tab in the Freedom Dashboard. You guys can redeem a key for free. Make a review, post a few videos on it, and get access to other games. It's a cool concept. But again, the description goes as follows. So help Ashley Ford find her father and solve the mystery of the Three Oak Mansion, a professional thief. Ashley has inherited this hobby from her father, who suddenly disappeared one night while he was trying to sneak into the Three Oak Mansion. You start the game in front of a big, deserted house that 
I don't think they were like leaving us off on a climax. You know, actually, I think that it's supposed to be like like a cliffhanger, yeah. like um, a deserted house that. Dun, dun, dun. Buy the game and find out more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think that's the intention because it's just too perfect of a like that what? Oh my god, that what? Right. So then we have like a little over four thousand keys for you guys to go. So by no means we're going to be running out anytime soon. I think we've redeemed. That's I mean, just on this one game. Right. This only one game alone. That's not including you know doorways, eight bit boy. Uh, what other games do we have? There's it's piling up. We have a few more that we're getting ready to add very very soon. So right now it's a little over almost thirty thousand keys, thirty five thousand keys. So there's one thing that I want to talk to the Freedom Family about that we discussed last week. Um, the potential of a Minecraft server coming to Freedom. Hey, Minecraft. Um, I actually got a little bit of a news um, bump about that, where that Minecraft server, uh, the, the people managing it, um, have sent us the contract back or asking for edits, and then we're going to continue doing this back and forth. But uh, things are back on track. There's no timetable as of yet. And actually, there are two guys who contacted us this week uh, who would like to do kind of a side project. It would be a community-based thing. It's not freedom-related at all. Um, which And they may actually come on to, um, to rehash next week. And explain it. And explain it. Yeah. Um, and I would invite you to do the same. If you have topics that you would like to... Um, to discuss with the Freedom Family. Or ideas. Or ideas or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comments section down below if you'd like to be a guest. Now, it would only be on Fridays, maybe Saturdays or Sundays if we do a Saturday or Sunday episode. But uh, that is uh, that is out there. So if you have something you want to address, let us know. Yeah, of course. Down below via the comments. That's one of the reasons why I'm so eager to work on the show because this is a down-to-earth show where we can talk to the Freedom Partners. It's, it's just like, honestly, how you and I talk. That's how we always talk. And then we're inviting you to be a part of it. It, it allows us to actually you know, contact you guys and, and let us know, you know any ideas or concerns you have. You know, That's one of the reasons why we're here making this show. Don't lie to them. Am I lying to them? You are lying to them. How much? I I don't know this that much. much. That's kind of hurtful. Okay. I mean, I, well, no, I'm saying you're you're lying this much because usually when you and I talk off camera, there's a lot more swear words, dirty jokes. Well, okay, there's a lot more of that. Yeah. But for the most part, I mean, it's just a normal yeah. conversation. Also, as far as network news, there were a few people who were affected by an email error that uh, had some people receiving a lot of emails all the same <laughs> yeah. um, in quick succession. I think somebody said he received 24 emails. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, sorry about that. The problem is fixed. If you were affected by that, you can disregard all of those emails except for the ones that say yeah. rehash. Those ones you got to click on. They're important. They're going to give you... Up-to-date, informative news. And I was going to say the cure to everything. Right. Happiness. You can't have a cure for happiness. <laughs> ah. So as per usual, towards the ending of every episode, we shout out some of you guys down below via the comment section. I wanted to point out an awesome comment from Decrypt Sundu3. Did I say his name right? De Decrypt? I'm not sure. Decrepit? Decrepit. I knew that. <clears throat> He says, hey, Anthony and Sykes, have you considered making the game sponsorships expand to Xbox 360 as well? My laptop specs aren't very high, so some Steam games won't work. I can do way better reviews on Xbox. Could you make me talk about it in your next video? Plus, the show is awesome. And keep it up, and I'll be watching. And to the other people, stop hating on Freedom Family. They're awesome. Thank you. The only problem I have with that comment, because he, he says a lot of awesome things. He yeah. says that he'll be watching. He doesn't say he'll be watching the show. Does that mean that he's probably hiding in the closet somewhere? Yeah. Or he could, like, be affiliated with Jimmy. Maybe that's Jimmy, but on a secondary account. So, as far as this goes, I would personally love to extend this to consoles. However, when you extend to consoles, um, you do end up dealing with a lot of uh, more high-end games. Yep. Um, which is a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because it gives a little bit more exposure to the YouTuber, but it's also a bad thing because the developers have come to expect a little bit more exposure than than what some people can provide. Now, we at Freedom, we do enjoy that when we do something, we try to involve the entire Freedom family whenever possible. Right. So when someone comes to us and they say, we only want to deal with somebody who has a 1,000 subscribers or gets X amount of views per day, we don't enjoy doing that. Now, we do it right. on occasion, but you know we do want to try to find a way to mitigate that so that we can include as many of you as possible. 
and you know it presents some interesting challenges uh, legally too. Right, and that, that's what I was actually going to get into, but you just covered it. You know, Xbox or, or, or Sony or any other platform apart from Steam, it's a very hard platform to go off of. Steam, it's an open platform. It, Steam is just Steam and you upload your games. With Microsoft or any other platform, there's a lot of legality things you have to go through and just cost. to even yeah, just to even get a game on there, let alone you know pay for the promotion fees and whatnot. I know it's so so expensive, so you know, we'd love to, but um, we really don't know right now. King McKay is asking that we explain stock in more detail. This is actually a comment from one of George's videos from the other day, um, day before yesterday. Was, by the time this goes live, it was a few days ago. Yeah. So, uh, stock is basically your ability to own a piece or a portion of a company. Uh, because the, a company is not a physical thing, we can't just take a hammer to it and break it into <laughs> many pieces. The way the stock works is it's a way for, you know, like I said, you to buy a stock or a share. Now that's your share or piece of the company. You share it with many others. And when stock increases in value, it actually does something, it doubles. So let's say you buy a stock at $4 per share, and that stock then goes to uh, a value of $8. That stock, instead of owning one piece of stock, you now own two. It doubles, and it, it will continue to do this over time uh, if the value of the stock goes up. Right. Um, and also stock, much like any currency, has a way of if you issue too much currency or stock in this yeah. case, um, it actually goes down in value. Right. So, for instance, a company who has a uh, hundred thousand pieces of stock floating around, if it's a uh, company that's doing well, um, it may be worth a dollar a share or something. However, that same company with ten thousand shares floating around, right. that's going to be a, what you call a penny stock. So you know. It, that's partially how that works. Now, as far as the consumer side, basically anything is only as valuable as what someone's willing to pay for it. So if someone decides that they're going to start bidding a lot of money on this stock, it becomes worth more. And that's all based off of consumer interest. Basically, too long, didn't watch or listen. <laughs> yeah. um, it all comes down to it's basically economics or... or um, it's basically finances, but with companies. Um, it's a lot like any currency, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you explained it pretty well, because I actually learned a few things just then. Enzor, from the same video, says, Considering that a lot of Freedom Partners are children, or people under the age of 18, uh, I suggest that you manage this in some way before going any further. Uh, this is, of course, something that we're looking to do. Uh, we're not looking to uh, to break any laws or you know give stock to any you know uh, <laughs> anyone who's not able to have it or sell it to anyone who's not able to have it. But I think the idea that you know a lot of freedom partners are you know under X, Y, or Z age is actually a misnomer. Um, based on our own analytics, um, it's actually a pretty what you call a mixed bag. We've got a lot of people in there. 40s and 50s, their 30s and 40s, their 20s and 30s. Um, it's not just young people. Um, however, one of the things that leads to this is the fact that um, a lot of people in the comments on the forums they are, you know, of that age bracket, and they're usually, you know, gaming related. Um, gaming YouTubing, gaming YouTube by yes, that thing yeah. is primarily something done by younger folks. Um, whereas, you know, um, older generations, they kind of shy away from, you know, so, so we're thinking that that's what's causing that. Um, like I said, um, yes, of course, we're looking to make sure everything's done properly. Um, but the misnomer about, you know, all freedom partners being young, it's really just a myth right. among other things. Also from the same video, we have Captain Maxwell seven. Uh, who says what are or he says what's stock options? What's IPO? You didn't answer this in the video. Plus George Venus. I also believe there's a smiley face or a frowny face of some sort in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so stock options mean that you, uh, as a freedom partner, would be able to buy the sh a share for X amount, and then uh, you can do that with a certain amount of time. So let's say. Uh, we give you three months that you can buy it at uh, two or three dollars a share. 
Um, and then you can keep track of that price and say you notice that it went from $2, which was your, uh, your promised price, and now it's selling for $8. You don't actually have to buy the stock. You can actually just cash that in and give up your portion of the stock and you can just basically get a windfall of cash. Um, now, also, if the stock tanks, you're also not out anything either. So a, a stock option is a very valuable thing in that it's it's a no lose situation. Um, if you don't notice that it's uh, it's appreciating in value, then you just don't buy. IPO is an initial public offering. That means that that is when the company first goes out on the market, and usually that's when the most buzz or hype is uh, is out there for any company. It's because a lot of investors are looking to get in. A lot of people are looking to get in on the next big thing. Um, and in this case, they're looking to um, own a piece of YouTube's fastest growing MCN and also an MCN that's growing on other platforms. So, you know, it's definitely something to get hyped over. Dusty Monkey Gaming says, I just don't understand. I'm a noob. You just want to promise these shares upfront money when you go IPO and you estimated 3.5 years. The estimate actually at this point is right around two years or so. The thing about an IPO is for it to successfully go off, you can't necessarily keep a rigid schedule because you never know when things are going to pick up or, uh, or not pick up for a company. And it all depends on your financial status, how much you're earning, um, and what other people perceive your value to be. So, for instance, um, using Freedom as an example, um, when we announce a huge project, uh, let's say we were to become the first MCN on Mars, <laughs> that would be a great time to go and, and to do our IPO. However, right after George makes one of his videos that gets 5,000 dislikes in the first hour, yeah. Probably a bad time. Right. I hope George just realizes that's a joke. Otherwise, this might be the last time you see me. I hope that we've shed some light on what's going on in the Freedom Family. If you have any questions, comments, matters of concern, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll either, you know, type out a response, or if we get lazy, we'll make a video just like this one and uh, respond to your comments that way. Uh, if you have any uh, newsy type alerts, anything you'd like us to talk about, if you're a network powered by Freedom, a partner powered by Freedom, we can't guarantee that we'll include everything, but that's what Fridays are for. It's for network news, and you're a part of the network. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And don't forget to be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, guys and gals.